Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to pass record type ID in Lightning record form in Lightning Web Component. In Salesforce Lightning Web Component, we can make use of this Lightning record form and we can uh, uh, display the fields that are available in the page layout uh, based on the record type and then we can ask the users to enter the values. So in the lightning record form, I'm using the object AP name as case, layout as full, uh, the other value is uh, compact. Uh, I want the full page layout uh, fields in my uh, lightning record form. So I'm using the layout type as full. Columns, I'm setting it as two. Uh, uh, if I set columns is equal to two, so two adjacent fields will be available. If I use columns is equal to one, then um, all the fields will be displayed in an uh, one column format. Um, one b below the other and uh, rec for the record type ID attribute I'm using case record type ID so this is nothing but my custom variable in my lightning uh, web component JavaScript so so this is my variable so I'm using a getter uh, to get the record type ID so first I'm using wire uh, so why I'm using wire is to get to, to get some information about case object. I'm using uh, uh, UI object info API. So using this, I will be getting uh, information about the case object. Uh, to avoid Apex, I'm using this. Next, in order to get the schema of case object, I'm using uh, uh, at Salesforce schema case. So in order to make use of get object info to get basic details of case object, I'm using the schema of case to be passed into this get object info. And from this, I will be getting the record type IDs. So let's see that. So using wire, I'm calling this get object info and in the object API name, I'm passing the case object. So the schema of case object is passed. The, the, the wire return value will be stored in object info. So in the getter method, I'm first checking whether this object info has data. If it contains the data, then I'm getting the record type infos. So these are all standard. And from this, I'm iterating uh, all the uh, keys. So this will have key and value. In the key, it will have uh, uh, the name of the um, uh, um, record type ID and in the value it will have uh, uh, all the uh, IDs of the record type so first I am I'm 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 return I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to be using this I'm getting the record type ID of external so uh, in my case object I have two um, record type IDs one is internal and the other one is external uh, for external I will be getting the record type ID of uh, uh, external record type. So here I'm using both lightning record page and lightning record action. So let's see this uh, in, in action. So in my case object, I created a quick action called new case and then I'm using the lightning web component and in my account page layout I have added my new case uh, uh, quick action which I created so there will be a standard quick action and here I'm using my custom so it contains new underscore case so it is my custom and next if you go to my case object I have two record types, one is external and the other one is internal. In my lightning web component, I'm going to get the record type ID of external. So now, if I go to an account record and then if I click new case, it will populate a lightning record form with external record type ID by default. So the record type is set to external. 
So this way we can easily pass record type ID to lightning record form. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.